Welcome to Con Pro Field in Buffalo, New York. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Colin Northrup along with Rick Northrup. Good evening. And it's our first time visiting Queen City this season as the Corsairs look to take on the Knights. Both teams are in that playoff line if the season ended today. Queen City would have the third wild card spot and London would be on the outside looking in. Corsairs versus the Knights should be an entertaining matchup. Queen City's trying to protect a, a playoff bid tonight and everybody was surprised that the plane landed in Buffalo for the Queen City game. And the Knights will kick off to get things going. Zach Daggs to kick off for London. You know, London uh, lost a close one last week to Mexico City, 27-21. They are loaded for it tonight. And the kick is away. Fielded at the five-yard line coming out. <laughs> oh, excellent. And, and returned up to the 24. So we get a first look at A.J. Caswell, who's been sacked 25 times this season. It doesn't bode well for him because he's facing that three-man defensive line for London, including ends Ian L. Rushenek and Brian Kowalt, and defensive tackle Frank Axmill. Caswell back to oh. throw in the first play. He's sacked. He's sacked for a five-yard loss back in his own 19. It's the Axman, Frank Axmill, with oh, the sack. Uh, it's just a porous membrane there as uh, London explodes in on on him, and he took a three-step drop when he should have taken a nine-step drop. 12-step drop, 15. Second and 15. Slynn Shady is the linebacker for London on defense. Quick drop for Caswell over to the sideline. It's complete to Memphis Blue, number 87. Almost back to the original line. It's going to start down forthcoming. Third down 11 from their own 23. Oh, just a little pitch and catch there. Probably more useful from a rhythm and confidence standpoint. <laughs> right here after a couple of plays. Th Third down, Caswell, medium drop. will go to the middle. It's complete to Chris Curtis to the 42 for the first down. Called it confidence right there. No trouble slinging it over the middle. Kane Velasquez in the area. He and Jeffrey Daggs are the safeties back there. Donnie Mack, number 23, is the corner out there for the Knights. First and 10, Caswell, three receivers to the bottom. Ash Odom is the tailback. Caswell back to throw again. We'll throw to the sideline once again, and it's complete. Out of bounds in front of the Corsair bench to... Joe Simpson on contract out there making the catch. Mike Daggs, number 83, is the tight end. Don't forget, if you have your bits, folks, to please show them in the chat as Ash Odom gets to carry up the middle and Odom gets blasted by Velasquez, but not before he gets to the first down marker. First and 10 at their 46. Hey, I got booed in the chat. What the heck? He was only kidding. <laughs> And Caswell back to throw, throws it deep, and it's complete. Are you kidding? The out to the right side of the formation for a few yards and then uh, deep over the middle, same thing. It's They're going Groundhog Day. First and 10 from the London 25. 
Caswell has three wide receivers. Ash Odom is the back. He gets to carry. Ash Odom left side for only a pick of a two. Slim Shady on it. Or er, non contract out there. Cliff Lawson making the hit. Yeah, this London defense is a little porous against the run, Rick. Can you tell us more? Yeah, hang on a second. We were just taking a look at that uh, earlier. They've got trouble uh, that shows up in the bottom line. As the pass out to Odom will actually lose a yard. Third down and nine. They've been outscored by their opponents by 40 points, 243 to 203 on the season. Um, and they allow uh, 27 points on average, which is fourth worst in the league. So, and they, and they give up over 100 yards rushing, so. Against one of the league's top backs, that's not good. Third down and nine for Queen City. Quick drop to the sideline. He's, he ran the out too short. He was unable to turn the corner with Elgin Villanueva and Ricky Matthews, who, who does both the kicking and the punting for Queen City, will kick the early field goal Love of it. some 28 yards. He gets two paychecks. So they'll set up for a pedestrian 25-yarder here, Colin. The hold of Max Barney. 35, excuse me. High snap, Barney gets it down, and the kick by Matthews splits the sticks from 35. There we go. So with 7.09 to go in the first, Queen City is in front of London early, 3 to nothing. And now a word from the SFL. Don't miss the SFL podcast every Saturday night at 5 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Eastern, on Twitch before the league's weekend slate get kicked off. Join me, Mighty RX, defending champion team owner Ramos Lynn, and our host, Jack Brown, to break down all the headlines in the SFL. Jack, yeah, I know we gotta move on. Calm down. See you there, everybody. Kickoff goes to Jeffrey Daggs as he returns it out to the London 26. And we'll get our first look at Michael Martin, London quarterback who's averaging 247 yards per game and completing 65% of his passes so far this season. He is Spencer Mayer running back, number 21. Mayer running back. Giacomo Jones and Andre Goodspeed are the wide receivers, number 11 and 10 respectively. Here's to get the Mayer up the middle. And he is tackled by Alex Cross after a four-yard gain on first down, second and six for London. Here's how in the chat somebody mentioned uh, no crowd noise. We're showing that we've got crowd noise uh, coming out, but we'll take a look at that. And I noticed the uh, Queen City owner does give him Two paychecks, but apparently he's such a skin flint, he only pays him for half. And a pass out to Tony Adams in the non-contract, and he drops it on second down. Uh. <laughs> Thank you, Jeremy Vega, for the 420 bits. Don't forget, folks, uh, save up your bits as part of the SFL new initiative around Twitch bits. You can watch as many ads as you want to. So it doesn't have to cost you real money. Third down and six. Martin back to throw. Pressure coming. Oh, and it's almost intercepted by Avery King, the linebacker number 44. Let's take this uh, opportunity to uh, thank Richard's Printworks, the official SFL gear provider. And also we want to uh, thank our fans for staying with us. We had some technical issues uh, Bouncing this thing um, up off the Big Bird and back on down to uh, Broadcast Central. And uh, it took us a little while to figure that out. Shout out to the uh, SFL Commish who uh, personally troubleshot that. Thank you indeed. Michael Pont 
on to punt for London. It's a fourth down at six. And it's away. No fair catch. Tried to make something, but uh, good coverage there by the Knights. Villanueva returns it up to the 38. But that puts your Queen City Corsairs in business with decent field position. We'll get to the rest of the Queen City defensive lineup in a moment. You've already been introduced to their linebackers. It's Caswell's under center. Will turn, give to Odom. And Mr. Odom will pick up five yards on first down. His yards per attempt is down a little bit. It's down to 4.7 compared to over five last year with Storm. Thanks for the update on crowd noise. Queen City goes with three wide receivers, two to the top, one to the bottom, isolation by himself. Trap hand off to Odom yeah. up the middle, and he's tackled by Velasquez, but not before he gets to the first down. That's, that's an exciting first down run, capped off by an exciting tackle. <laughs> What a run by Odom, who's top four in the league in rushing, so London was definitely dreading this when it came up on the schedule, considering how porous their run defense has been. Yeah, they they might be in a little see what adjustments they make uh, here as the game goes on. As the throw is over the middle, that is complete to Mike Daggs for the first down. All right, Corsairs are starting to lunch pail it with the uh, over the middle tosses there, and um, you know, another worry for London. Queen City rushes for over 130 yards a game, and uh, they typically score 26 points. Which is about what London gives up on defense. Second down and one. First catch for Dags. As Odom will get the first down with ease. He gets a first down and no more. I'm quite familiar with the Daggs family. Good friends with Mike, the tight end for Queen City. His son, Nick, works for me in St. Louis. As Odom will gain just two yards. Slim Shady on the tackle. A little stout line play there by the uh, Knigets as they laugh in the general direction of the Corsairs. And Caswell lines up with split backs. Odom gets the carry up the middle and easily picks up a first down. Whoops. Follows the fullback and that's almost too easy. That's like taking candy from a baby. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, the variability here play to play uh, on the run game. You know, they try a sweep. They try a little trap, nothing, and then later draw, nothing, and then boom, first down. From the shotgun now, the corner's up in press coverage as Matt Wilson says that he gets nervous around this part. Caswell over the middle to Dax for the first down. Nice catch. Good focus. Queen City's just doing what they want right now. Somebody uh, in the chat earlier used the term methodical, and uh, yeah. That applies. Applies indeed. That's Dags' second catch. He's up to 21 yards now. As Caswell just dumps it off to Dags on a little dump off and he'll pick up three yards. Don't forget to download the score stream app. The official scoring partner of the SFL. A great way to keep up with all the busy action in the games, especially on Sunday. No doubt. No doubt. 
Trips to the top of the screen. Caswell, medium drop, goes to Chris oh. Curtis, and he turns the corner to the end zone. One. Touchdown, Queen City. That's what we're talking about. Who scored that? Chris Curtis. He, the albino one, they call him. Down there in pregame. Queen City just moving the ball with these. And the extra point is up and through. So at 2.18 to go in this, the first quarter play, Queen City is in front of London 10 to nothing. Don't forget to download the Score stream app and receive live SFL score updates available on Android and iOS. It works sweet. And here's the kickoff brought to you in part by APM Music. Jeff Daggs, a prolific returner. He, he's returned a cup, one kick and one punt for touchdowns this year. He takes it up to the 30 and the Knights facing a little test early as they have to respond probably on this drive with something. They would like to, and you could see why. He's a dangerous return man right there. He just is slippery. He throws a spin move in, he ducks under a tackle, and uh, he gets brought down by a leg tackle, which if, if he breaks out of that, he's, he's motoring down the field. Michael Martin has yet to complete a pass. He's over two years to get to Spencer Meyer, breaks a tackle, but he's brought down by number 21, Zane Doty. Free safety, he and Nacho Cicero are the safeties. Now the thing you got to worry about if you're uh, Queen City, Colin, is last week Michael Martin went 19 of 28. Um, he threw three touchdowns against only one pick and had 246 yards. He's back and to here throw. And the man oh. open and it's oh, it's oh. almost picked up. Almost threw it to the wrong team. Alex Cross knocked it away, and Martin's 0 for 3. But Martin can, uh, Martin can hurt you, and um, Queen City's got to be careful. Third down and seven for London. Martin changing the play at the line. Drops. Has time, goes for a man, it's complete to yeah. Giacomo Jones. What a catch, unbelievable. And the Speedy Jones who has had multiple oh. touchdowns in the last two games with a great play there. They sort of lose him there and uh, Martin makes him pay. His first completion, but what a big one. For 20 yards on third and seven. Three wide receivers for London. Adamson to the top of your picture. Both contract players to the bottom. Martin swings his out to Spencer Ooh. Mayer, and he will only pick up a yard. Coach, is he still alive? Yes, yes he is. Yes, he is, folks. Unbelievable. Yeah, you know, uh, Giacomo, Giacomo Jones caught almost half of the passes that Martin threw last week against Mexico City. So that's the combo you've got to focus on if you're the Corsairs. Meyer dotting the I formation here on second down. Martin back to throw, throws over the middle, complete to the tight end, but he was going backwards, but forward progress will mark it at the Queen City 40. Third down and three. You know, sometimes uh, you can't really make much out of anything. You just got to dive forward and uh, cost him a couple yards of field position there trying to reverse his field and spin around. Here's the good to Meyer, and he gets Love that to play. the 29. Ooh. Avery King brings him down, and that's the end of a fast-moving first quarter. Queen City's in front, 10 to nothing. Ten. 
Welcome back to Buffalo, New York. You're watching the SFL on Twitch presented by APM Music. London Knights had the ball down 10, but they are moving it. They are looking good so far. Michael Martin gives off to Spencer Meyer up the middle, and Meyer almost got a first down. They say he got about nine and a half yards, so the market's second and very, very short. That's a fine run. To the 20-yard line of Queen City. Now, the gratuitous analyst comment. Playbook's wide open. And it goes split backs. One receiver to each side, but Martin under center. And he will give to the running back, and he's through the hole for an easy first down. Jeff Duffy, along with Koa Kaleo, are the defensive line players for Queen City. Uh, London Knights uh, focusing on just moving the sticks at this point. Don't want to lose their momentum. Eye formation for Meyer. And he will get the call. Second oh. man through. He's got a first down almost again. Tackle made by Cicero and Doty. That brings up second and inches. Oh. On the nine, London. Crisply in and on the huddle. They have three wide receivers. Adam Sin is to the bottom. He's been a big player for them at the non-contract position. Meyer will get the carry. Oh! And he almost scores, but he goes down to the two and it'll be first and goal. Holy smokes. Spencer, don't call me Gray Mayor. <laughs> As Vincent Brown dubbed him. A couple weeks ago. Gets him down to the two yard line and it's his first and goal. I formation. John Smith in front of Ma Meyer. Meyer, second man through. Oh. No, he gets stopped at the line of scrimmage. Queen City's ready for them there. Meyer is averaging 5.6 yards a carry. That's where you want to be if you're a running back. Oh, absolutely. You can make a nice living at 5.6. Ballmer, the tight end, is flexed out as a third wide receiver on second and goal. Meyer again at the carry, spinning, oh, getting down to the one. Oh. <laughs> they said he didn't break the pain. Cole Kaleo and Avery King combined to bring him down. So close. So close. Yeah, he's got it. That 5.6 uh, YPC, that, that's uh, outstanding. He's got to be really thankful for his O-line on that. Same set again. Press coverage appears from Queen City. Meyer <laughs> will get the easy walking touchdown for London. Now for a Sunday stroll. Nobody lays a glove on him. By the way, he usually buys his linemen nice tone of gloves for Christmas. God save a great this queen. That's what they're <laughs> singing over in the pubs in London. Oh, yes. Where even though the delayed start, it's just an excuse to order another pint. Zach Daggs to try the extra point. David Rimmer holding. Matt Jobs, the long snapper. And the extra point is good. So London gets on the board with a touchdown from Spencer Meyer from one yard out. Well, we got something happening here. And now a word from the SFL broadcast team. Want to do what I do? Contact me in the DM on Discord to find out how you can get involved with streaming live games, calling games, or breaking them down on the air with our broadcast team or help make our production even better by joining our new live stats team, helping our broadcasters shine brighter. We are hashtag loading legends in the SFL. As Joe Simpson returns that kickoff. Up to the 22 of Queen City. And A.J. Caswell comes out again. He's already been sacked once, but 
but not by any of the contract players yet. And the first play is a trap hand off to Ash Odom, and Odom explodes through the hole to the 37-yard line. So far in this duel of the running backs, Odom is at 50 yards, but Meyer has the one touchdown, but he's right there with them. As he just explodes up the middle with ease. It's got to drive Liam Crowder insane. Here's a look at uh, Jeffrey Daggs. Queen City has an additional free safety on their defense, number 46, Phoenix Blue, brother to Memphis Blue, the wide receiver. As Caswell, quick drop, fires this one over the middle, complete to Elgin Villanueva for a pickup of seven yards. As we're looking at a second and three. Like to shout out our stats, man, as Ash Odom is a man among boys. As he gets to the 46. Thanks for being with us tonight. As that's his biggest run of the day. Out to the London 46. He's already up to 75 yards. AJ Caswell has yet to throw an incompletion. As Odom breaks oh. the tackle. There goes Jeez. Ash Odom. 30 oh. 20. 10 4 5. Touchdown. Queen City. Woo. He does it again. Oh, Ash Odom explodes for the touchdown. Oh, my goodness. He breaks through the first line of defense there, and he's gone. Nice block by uh, 23, Hadley Diamante, the fullback. Green City making it look easy in what's being called the Lord Nelson Classic. <laughs> the Lord Nelson Classic. And the extra point is through, so with 3.20, or 6.24 left to go in this first half, Queen City is in front, 17-7 over London. Well, London was feeling good about that drive and score. Queen City comes right back and says, I'll see your drive and score. I'll raise you a drive and score. <laughs> right, so. And the kick is away from Matthews. Fielded by Daggs and his 10. Up the middle he goes. Oh. And is struck down at the 29. So London has, has leaned heavily on Spencer Meyer. But maybe they need to lean on Michael Morton. I think so. He's uh, obviously he can play. Let's see what happens here. Here's again to Meyer up the middle. Stops, hesitates, but still picks up six yards. A solid running right there. Ash showed him up to 106 with that last explosive carry. There's a look at Phoenix Blue. Mentioned him earlier. Split backs for London. Meyer again on the carry, and he will pick up a couple of yards. That was Avery King on the tackle, um, along with Zane Doty, I think. Go back and look at that, but uh, good linebacker play to stuff that just short of the line again. Here's the to Meyer again on third down, and he picks up the first down tackle made by Avery King. Moving the sticks. I'd like to give some shout outs. AJ pick six, Jeremy V. Vega 444, and 
NYL Fan Media Twitch, among many others. Thanks for joining us tonight. As Martin back to throw, throws in double coverage, and that pass is nearly intercepted. That was the non-contract corner who first got his hand on it. Maybe that's why they, Mick Weimer, maybe that's why they're putting in hands on there. Looking for a double move for Giacomo, jo for Godspeed, rather. As yeah, ill-advised throw, probably on Martin's part there. Either that or he needed to wait a moment or two for him to break into the open behind the secondary. Second and 10 from the London 41. There's a look at Godspeed. Mark. Good to Meyer. He'll actually lose the yard. No, they'll say no gain. Al Rathman. And on the tackle for Queen City. Third down and ten. They need to get a big chunk here. Big chunk is biggest chunk they can possibly get. Mark. That's three receivers out. Quick drop. Throws. Looking for Adamson, but it was knocked oh, away beautifully damn. by Alex Cross. Absolutely dangerous uh, once that ball was tipped. There were a couple of people, uh, a couple of guys who made a play on that, but it uh, it does fall for an incomplete. On the London Knights, breathe a sigh of relief on that. And here is Michael Pont on to punt. Punt to punt. And he gets it away. It's a pretty good kick. Fielded by. Queen City and returned up to the 24. <laughs> Pretty much no. No return on that. There's a look at Caswell as he comes back out for another drive. Ash showed him powering this lime green, lime green and black machine. You know what's interesting to about another that? Another touchdown. I'm sorry. That. Uh, London Drive that stalled out. They were uh, stuck in a third and long. They've got the fourth worst third down conversion percentage. And I showed him. We'll get a first down as he almost breaks that one. <laughs> Thanks for the elbow there, Colin. I think London put points on the board by actually avoiding third downs and converting on second down as you see the run here. Just, hey. just solid north and south running, Colin. He almost broke it open. You know, Jeffrey Dag said eight. Had 17 solo tackles last week. Wait, ah, are yeah. you kidding me? That's awesome. It's awesome. And here's Odom again, breaking tackles, and he'll pick up five yards. Yeah, you know, and, and uh, it would have been no yards, but he kept his legs going. Uh, for all you kids out there, you got to keep that lower body strong and keep those legs moving. Here's Queen City with a second and five. Here's another run for Odom. Odom picks up the first down and Burn. almost broke through a couple of tackles as he gets to his own 47. Burning and churning with those legs. Now for a guy like me, I keep my legs strong by kicking my kids' butts. First and ten. As Ash Odom will get stuffed by the Axeman, Frank Axeman, number 66. Don't forget, folks, if you have bits, please give them to us. Help support the SFL as a whole product. I, I myself just gave three bits. As Odom will take the carry and will set it up. With the third down, he's up to 129 with that last carry. We breached the two-minute warning here in Buffalo, New York. Queen's in front by 10. 
and looking to add more. Third down and 10 for Queen City. Deep drop for Caswell going down the middle of the field. It's complete to Villanueva for no Memphis Blue for first down. Nice. Nice play over the middle. Just split the zone perfectly. Jeffrey Daggs had to hold on for a little bit of a ride. 140 and counting to go. Till halftime. Three wide receivers, isolation to the bottom. Odom will get the carry and he will pick up six yards on first down to the London 30. Thank you, AJ Pick Six, for your showing up bits. And Queen City. Moving the ball, moving quickly now. Yep, content to just keep running as they get to Odom. He oh. picks through 20. That's <laughs> Odom down to the 10-yard line, first and goal. Now here comes the Chinese fire drill of the hurry-up offense. Caswell sets. Quick drop. Flares it out oh. to Odom. Oh, wide open, it. and he will walk in for the touchdown. Oh, boy. You doggies. And I showed him putting on a show here, folks, as he takes this one behind his back with one hand and brings it in for the score. Nice. Nice. I don't know what happened on the uh, uh, coverage for the Knights, but uh, nobody bothered to uh, tag him as he sprints out to the right side of the formation. Makes a circus catch and walks in easily. For those of you who aren't quite familiar with how to get bits, there's a tutorial video on the SFL Twitch channel explaining things. Don't forget to download the ScoreStream app. We're one place to keep track of all SFL scores. Download the app today from the for the Android and the Apple iPhone. And here's the kick off to Dags. London needs a spark. And Dags will take this up to his own 30. I tell you, if you gotta be London, even though it's under a minute left, you got in this half, you gotta be a little bit nervous. You gotta try and manufacture something, that's for sure. And uh, they, uh, on the score stream app, there are a ton of cheers for the London Knights as uh, the city stays up late to root on their mates. Here's Meyer again. Turns up field for a pickup of two, and London will start burning <laughs> their timeouts. A little used Z root on the... Uh, on the draws, he tries to find a hole on the right side of the formation. Able to pick up a couple. But London, uh, as you had said earlier, Colin needs uh, some chunk plays here. London, quick drop. Out. To God's speed, he steps out of bounds two yards in front of the first down marker. With 34 seconds left. Third down and two for the Knights. They're in a split back formation. It's changing it up. Calling the audible, we have 35 people right now. Viewing as Meyer will get it up the middle and he will get to the 46 and here comes the Chinese fire drill from London this time. 
Martin dropping back a little far. We'll oh. throw this over the middle. Drop by Giacomo Jones, but that's probably... Probably for the better at this point. Time's more precious than yards. Zane Doty knocking that one away. No, it looked like it would be Alex Cross. It just... Doty was in the area. The <laughs> LaRue 82 says, holy, I leave for 10 minutes and it's 24-7? Yeah, don't leave. That's the SFL. Second and 10 from their own 46, 19 seconds left. And Martin is sacked by Koa Kaleo for a three-yard loss. And it looks like the Knights will just sit on this one and like their wounds going into halftime down to 24-7. Nope, they call a timeout with three seconds left. <laughs> There's a good shot of Liam. He's got his hands full tonight with the Corsairs. Four-time champs as he's reading Martin the riot act for taking that sack. Got to get rid of it, son, he's saying. We've seen a couple successful Hail Marys. Four wide to the right. In the SFL's history, including one this oh. season as Martin is sacked <laughs> on third down to end the first half. And who is that that ran around the, the left end? That's Phoenix Blue with the sack. And Queen City's in front of London easily, 24 to seven. Now let's take a look at the app times highlights. It gets you another message from the SFL. The Simulation Football League is presented by APM Music and is the official theme music provider of the SFL. Listen to their Champions Will Rise soundtrack at apmmusic.com today and search through thousands of tracks to boost the quality of your stream just like us. APM Music, production music library and custom music house. I uh, apologize for that as highlights continue to roll. We'll start the third quarter. And I always have to ask this, even games I'm not broadcasting, who got the ball first? <laughs> we think so. So the London will get the ball. They desperately need a score. That's right. They want to stay in this game. I apologize for that dead air a moment ago. We were uh, we had a, a special package queued up about the dental expenses of the London Knights team, uh, but we'll have to save that for another broadcast. As the kickoff goes to Dags, and Dags will get to the 28. Phoenix Blue playing on special teams. He's got five tackles, one TFL, and one sack. Pretty full stat line for that guy. London takes over, first and ten. John Smith, the fullback in front of Spencer Mayer in the eye. Let's we'll see what kind of adjustments uh, London has coming out of the locker room, Colin, as they hand off. Meyer will spin like a whirly gig for one yard. Ran right into the teeth of the blitz. Probably should have changed the play. 
did Mott. They love their roundabouts in England. Only 101 total yards that first half for the London. Pretty dominating performance from Queen City. Eric Barkley flexing his muscles and showing why he's won four rings in this league. As Meyer will again get the carry. Breaks the tackle and picks up the first down. What a run. Uh -oh. As he made a man miss in the hole with the spin. It should be coming up right about here. Whoop. Oh. <laughs> and broke a tackle and... Carry along two other guys. Yeah, and mowed over Phoenix Blue. The free safety comes up to make the tackle and ends up getting run over. I formation, three wide receivers for London. Martin changing the play. And only a pass. The first in this half out to the sideline is Godspeed for a pickup of three yards. Just kind of a pedestrian out route. There's a little John going on. It's his second catch for nine yards. Jockama Jones, <laughs> three targets. Still has that one catch for that big 20-yard gain earlier. Yeah, London, uh, you know, don't want to. London can come back here. Um, and they, they've got some life. People realizing your teeth joking are making puns already. Oh, as Meyer yeah. will get it up the middle to the 45. Tackle made by Avery King. He's up to 81 yards. Well, there was a debate preseason. Do they even need to issue mouth guards on the London team? I mean, can it get any worse? Oh, stop, stop. As it's third down and five for London. Back to throw is Martin going deep. Oh, the go. pass is knocked away. Turn around, son. He could almost dove back. And, and grab that ball uh, out of the air off the uh, tip. Nacho Cicero knocked it away. Sicario. Nacho Sicario. Sorry, I, I apologize in advance. <laughs> I'm just seeing the pronunciation now. <laughs> Sicario. As London will punt. And now their defense has been under siege pretty much this whole game as goes back out there again. Simpson calls the fair catch. Not the opening drive the uh, London Knights were looking for. And now their defense, which has had their hands full, for two quarters with the Corsairs is back on the field. Split back for London. They crowd the line too. Let's see what. Uh, and it's a run for Odom. Beautifully blocked and he'll still pick up seven yards. When they crowd He's the up to 162. Nice when they crowd the line like that. You can get to, if you can get through the second level, you can do it with just another step and a half. Like that. You know, I heard from William Davidson, the Knights Director of Operations, that uh, Liam tried to ban green tea from the flight because he's superstitious. And it says green tea will help Queen City more than it will help his team. I see. As the give is to Odom, Odom breaks through and he gets down to the 38. First down. He almost broke another big one. Well, Queen City's starting to uh, stress out uh, the London Knights, both physically and psychologically here. They've got to stiffen up. Uh, they use that stiff upper lip as Odom. <laughs> gets tackled by Velasquez, but not before he picks up five on first down. Obviously, the uh, London Knights could help themselves uh, if D can make a play here with a takeaway or a stop. Split backs. Dags the tight end off to the right hand side. One receiver to either side. Caswell will turn, get the Odom, and he will be stopped at the line of scrimmage by number 58, Oliver Reeder. You are watching the SFL on Twitch, brought to you in part. 
by APM Music, the official soundtrack of the SFL. Third down at five from Queen City, 43. Caswell, back to pass. Throws, and it's complete to Chris Curtis as he turns up field past the 50 and into London territory. Marked down at the 46. His fourth catch for 64 yards, Mr. Curtis. Caswell just uh, patiently uh, surveying the field and looky what he finds. Chris Curtis in the open field. That's a first down. And London have to reload here for another set of downs. Odom is the tailback in the eye. Caswell to throw again. Deep. He's got oh. Curtis wide open down to the 10 yard line. Whoa, what, a what a play by Chris Curtis on back to back receptions. And a touchdown saving tackle by Kane Vasquez for the Knights. Oh my. As we get another look at Curtis just going behind the back with one hand to haul at it. And with that catch, Chris is up over 100 yards receiving on just five grabs. Wow. Here's to get to Odom on first down, explodes through the hole and gets down to the six. For a pick of a four, second and five. Insert comment about how they can get a first down without scoring here. <laughs> Look at that quarterback rating for AJ Caswell. He's up to 168, throwing two touchdowns. Still has yet to throw an incompletion. Amazing. Wow. It's Caswell in the gun. Three wide receivers will throw again. Complete to Odom, and Odom this oh. time will go backwards <laughs> for a loss of one. The one-handed helmet tackle there. Cliff Lawson again, the linebacker, bringing him down the hard way. We have a third down and six, a bunch to the bottom for Queen City. Uh -oh. Deep drop from Caswell. has got all day. We'll dump this off to Odom. Odom has to go. It feels stiff arm, but he Ow. can't get any further. And he'll be tackled wow. at the three. That'll bring on the field goal unit. You know, uh, Caswell is uh, has a stellar QB rating. And uh, Sammy Hagar just stopped by to point out that uh, he's on fire. Caswell's on fire. About 13 yard field goal. 19. 19. I can't do math very well tonight for some reason as the kick is good. So we now have a 27 to 7 ball game. No worries. I'm here to do uh, every man commentary and keep you straight on the yardage. Don't forget to download the score stream app. The best way to keep up with all the live SFL action, interact with fans, post photos from the game, and just chat with people in general. And uh, already beat me to it on the score stream update. Thank you very much. As Jeffrey Daggs returns this up to the 27. London really has to get something going. And going in a hurry. Down by more than two scores. Haven't really seen that sense of urgency from the Knights at all. Michael Martin, just 36 passing yards. Reminds me of uh, John O'Corn. <laughs> the U of M reference there. As Martin will oh. get sacked uh. for a three-yard loss by Cocaleo, his second. The team's third overall as the big guy comes on a twist, just beats the oh, guard in man. front of him and plants him down right there. Yeah. Yeah, he goes full Weird Al Yankovic and says, eat it. Just eat it. Second down and 13 from the 24.
Martin deep drop, has a clean pocket, throws on the run, and this is a throw out of bounds. Tony Adamson was the closest uh, man to now, it. Just nothing's working right for uh, London on offense. Uh, if you, if they, I don't know if they'll replay it, but um, Queen City is just in a base defense uh, with a lot of cushion on the wide receivers, plenty of time, and they can't complete that pass. Same defensive look here. Let's see what Martin can do. Martin throws deep. Oh! Uh. Giacomo Jones almost had it, but it was knocked away. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And lads from London will have to punt it once again. And boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Somebody get those boys a full English breakfast. As the punt is going to be taken just past the 10 yard line. And it's away and fielded down at the 44 of Queen City. As uh, non-contract Joe Simpson back fielding the punt and he gets manhandled by the Knights, whose special teams may have had a full English breakfast, which includes bangers. In case you're interested. And now people are saying they need Earl Grey tea as I showed him, we'll get the first down carry and we'll pick up four yards. And first down, he's up to 185. And just a withering assault from Top four in rushing, coming into the game with 1,181 yards and six touchdowns. He's added a couple tonight, one on the ground and one receiving. Yeah, hey, Earl, you could do worse than Earl Gray. And here's the swing out to the fullback, Diamant, and well, take it to touch. Well covered. Holds him to a short gain. You know, they say Earl Gray single-handedly kept the British Army hydrated in North Africa when it was just them and the uh, Germans responsible for holding Rommel at bay, that Earl Gray. Third down and three. Here's to get to Odom swinging wide, and it will pick up the first down as Velasquez and Slim Shady combine on the tackle. Of course, they were handicapped a little bit because every day at 4 o'clock, no matter if they were advancing or not, they had to stop for tea. Watch the Watch the oh, you're, te you're teaching them a history lesson. Nice going, Dad. As the <laughs> handoff goes to Odom, he picks up two. <laughs> There's a look at Chris Curtis. He's got all five balls for 100 yards and five targets. That's Caswell back to throw again. We'll go deep, and that is oh, knocked oh, away for whoa, the whoa. first incompletion of the game for Queen City. Nice job. Nice job. Julius Nicholson knocked that away from. Phoenix from Memphis Blue. Now I'm getting the Blues Brothers confused. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. As they try it out, four wide receivers to each side. London appears to be in press coverage. Odom is the back. Caswell back to pass under some pressure. Oh, yes, the ducks out of one sack, but can't duck oh. out of the other. And he sacked all the way back in his own 47. That is Frank the Axeman Axmall. <laughs> that was a very entertaining sack. So he was in full retreat, ducked under one guy, number 47, E.L. E. All Rushinek. And Ricky Matthews on the punt. Who knows? This could be the start of something big. If London can get a score here to make it a little bit closer going into the fourth. 
punt will go to Dags, and Dags will return it up to the 17. Well, Jeffrey Dags, that is. And a field position is uh, difficult, um, especially so for London tonight, as uh, other than uh, one scoring drive and uh, a couple of flashes of offense, they've not demonstrated an ability to uh, reliably move the, down, move the ball down the field. Here's the handoff to Meyer, and Meyer will pick up six yards on first down. He's up to 87. You know, he had close to 100 last week. Wow. I think he moved, used an offensive lineman swim, swim move to help himself get through the uh, linebacking core right there. It was nice. Thank you, A.E. the Pilgrim, for your 10 bits. Ooh. -hoo. Here's the kid to Meyer, and he's stuffed up at the line of scrimmage mm. by Cole Kaleo and Alex Cross combining on the, on the tackle. This will be a third down and four as we approach the end of the third quarter. Well, we're at the end of the third quarter, and uh, of course, London will do their, uh, their usual ritual between the third and fourth quarters. They will all break out of the lumberjack zone on the sideline, fire themselves up and their fans, and they trip over. As we start in the th fourth quarter, we have a third down and four for London. And the Knights. We'll start with a pass. And Michael Martin will get sacked by Cole Kaleo for the, sec for the third time today. Wow. Hey, you're watching the SFL on Twitch. Brought to you in part by Show Business Studios. The ultimate live event film production. Prop rental. And hosting the SFL convention in July. As another punt is away for London. Oh! And it's away, and Simpson will return up to the 42. Was it just me, or did it look like uh, they were so close? And now, a word from our word from the SFL. Follow the SFL on Twitter at SimulationFL on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube and Twitch channels. You're already here, right? Might as well stay tuned. Get league updates on your phone while browsing the internet and make sure you never miss a live broadcast. Thank you for supporting the SFL. Ash Odom takes the carry up the middle to the 50 as he's, he picks up seven on first down. He's at a buck 99. What a, what a game for Odom. We've had <laughs> a little hurdle. <laughs> Tell you that av rushing average for Queen City is going to jump way up. As Odom will I'll get over oh. 200 yards, breaks the tackle, and carries two more men with him to the 40. Easily. Easily. Well, I got to tell you, Colin, watching uh, Queen City at work here is uh, is a real pleasure. They've got a lot of weapons, and they just they just keep coming at you. Shotgun formation for Queen City. Three wide receivers. Caswell. We'll take the snap, fires over the middle, oh, pass is intercepted, and it's... There you go. That is Cliff Lawton snagging that one out of the air. What a beautiful play. He's looking for Dags. And in a game where not much has gone right for London, they get a turnover. Let's go. Queen City's only turned the ball over 14 times this year, but there's number 15. 
There's a good to Meyer. He struggles for a few. He's up to 90. Ash Odom sitting at 210, averaging 7.8 a carry. Well, London in no hurry here, Collins. Does that surprise you? Well, yes, they need to get a little urgency going. It's 8.15 eight counting, and they're down by a bundle. Down by three scores. So throws to the tight end, and it drops it. But they're not acting like it. Joe ahead in the game. Michael Martin, he's, he's just really struggled to find his footing. Yeah, I got to credit the uh, Queen City secondary. They haven't given him much to throw. Uh, <clears throat> much. They haven't allowed him to have many targets to throw to. Uh, and Queen City's D-line has gotten to Martin <laughs> way more than uh, London would care to admit. Third down seven. Meyer back to pass. Going deep, and the pass oh. is intercepted. That is... Sicaro, and he will be knocked down at the 21. Sicario, Sicario, with the with the pick and the little sideline shimmy. He says, "Put me on camera, boys." Looking for Giacomo Jones, but he was double covered. That was an awkward uh, way he went down. Sicario's got to know right. how to get tackled. <laughs> he had his uh, left leg bent under him, but he didn't show any ill effects from that. And the Corsair will throw on first down to the sideline. Call oh! Chris Curtis. He steps out of the two. I thought he was going to score. He's up to 119. Whoa! What a play by AJ Caswell! My goodness! Going for the home run right off the turnover, and why not? He's got it, and oh, he just can't quite make the turn. You know, they only have, uh, to my knowledge, one star corner. Nacho Sicario. As o Odom will get down to the two on first and goal. Bringing up a second and goal. From the two. Maybe I should have yelled two. In the offset eye. Nothing fancy here on the goal line. Odom is the deep back. Diamante's the fullback, and Odom will walk in easily for the touchdown. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. His second on the ground. First one from medium distance, and this one from short distance. Just beautifully blocked, and 7.45 to go. Making it look too easy, I think uh, London's defense may be getting uh, a little winded at this point, halfway through the fourth. So, off the interception by Sicario. Queen City gets another touchdown. The extra point makes it 30, oops, 34. Accidentally gave the Knights a point. Sorry about that. You have to figure out how to redo that. Don't forget to download the Score Stream app available on iOS and Android. Don't miss many of the action with Score Stream. There we go. Fixed it. As Jeffrey Daggs returns this one to the London 33. Michael Martin only sitting at 36 passing yards. It's just not been his night. 
Right, yeah. Boy, I had to fix that score stream uh, goof up before the commish jumped in to debug that one. 22 carries, 90 yards for Meyer. Mike Martin under center, gives to Meyer, a little break attack on pick up a yard. Oops. Yes, I am. 34. <laughs> As he struggles to count, Martin <laughs> on the field goes deep to Giacomo. No, that's Godspeed again. Godspeed down to the Queen City 37, and they take a big shot. <laughs> Longest pass of the day and a double move in front of the extra free safety Phoenix Blue. That's a big play. Here is the gift to Meyer and he stopped by Tad Myers for no gain, second down. Maybe at this point you just gotta take all the running plays out. Let Mar Martin throw the ball because he's got the skills. Let's see. They might have been trying to catch him napping, and uh, Meyer's submarine's uh, under the guard to make the tackle. And he takes the Z route again. It's a third down and seven from the Queen City 34. They're in field goal range for Jeff Daggs if they can get it about a couple of yards close. Martin ducks under one man, lets this go for a first down. Beautiful play to Giacomo Jones, two to 25. V Brown 72, a.k.a. Alvin Washington, saying this is going to be fun on score stream when you're updating it. Certainly it's going to be handy come that uh, big Sunday window that the SFL always does. Here's the get to Meyer, and Meyer tackled by Sicario. And... Another one, another teammate for pick up a one for the Gray Mare. Martin up to 75 yards, quarterback rating of 28.7. Ouch. Ouch. Yo. That hurts. Martin changing the play. Back to throw, quick drop, goes to the sideline, and it's caught by Giacomo Jones. and. He steps out of bounds at the Queen City 19. Third down and four. <laughs> With 440 to go in this game, London could get a okay. score. Yeah, they're, they're probably in field goal range already. Back to throw. Oh, 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 oh. The pass knocked away by Doty. Incomplete. Oh, man. Probably would have been enough had, Do the, Doty safe, had, had a pick. the safety not been in the way. Doty had a pick six on his mind. And with 437, the offense is staying out on the field. And, well, why not? Field goal doesn't really help your cause at this point. Martin to throw. Throws to the end zone. Oh. Sicario <laughs> knocked it away. Oh, boy. And that QB rating gets even worse. He was looking for the end zone. It was Giacomo Jones out there. and Strong safety bailing out Queen City from perhaps a sure six. And Sicario reads it. 
Cuts in front of it. Queen City takes over on downs. There's a look at Mike Daggs. Thank you to our stats man tonight. Keeping us covered. Your run knocks. <laughs> As Queen City gets a first down run to their own 21, but the clock continues to move, and that's all that really matters at this point. Odom gets the carry again, oh. and Ash showed him grinding for more yards as he gets down to the 26, set up a third down at four. Wow. Even in the uh, fourth quarter, Colin, he is going like a freight train through that line. He's still a huge load to bring down. Of course, you could say maybe he ought to be taking a breather at this point in the game uh, with it well in hand. He's up to 31 carries for 217. Probably one more score ought to do it. That's must be what Queen City's thinking. <laughs> Four scores is not enough. <laughs> As Odom will get racked up at the line of scrimmage, setting up a fourth down situation. And ah. Four ah. scores and seven years ago. Jeffrey Daggs. Even Denver, the service dogs, feeling a little low for the London Knights tonight. Well, he should. He's an English lap, so. Absolutely. <laughs> Here is the kick. Way by Matthews, and Dags will call the fair catch at his own 40 with. 2.34 to go. Denver's a four-and-a-half-year-old English lab. He likes to go to college with Colin. Be on the go with the entire family. Rough house in the house. Well, for those that... And is interested in any female labs you might have. Well, for those of you who are going to convention, he will be there. Uh, a little bonus, Michael Martin back to throw, going deep. Oh, yeah. by Giacomo Jones at the 36, and they're hurrying to the line. They want to get at go. least one playoff before the two-minute warning. Let's go. <laughs> Great catch by Jones, by the way. Here's the throw out to John Smith, and he will get tackled in bounds, but they'll just let this go to the two-minute warning. Yes, they will. Uh, I heard he was back from exploring at Jamestown. There's John Smith. Now he's playing American football. <laughs> Captain John Smith. I think he was at Plymouth Colony. As Martin back to throw. Throws on the run uh, and it's another interception. Completion to the wrong jersey. Um, and Martin is really going to want to <laughs> hide under a towel on the sidelines after this game. Eddie Shields snagged that one out of the air. Coming off such a, a great effort last week in the uh, loss to Mexico City. The only similarity between that game and this game is London's going to lose again. Here's the give to the backup, who's now in the game. He gets himself a smart first down. Todd Mack, and Mack will take it to the two-minute warnings. He's fired up. You know, I think that was designed maybe to be uh, stretched out a little bit to the right. He saw the hole, turned up field. Go. 
they reach the two minute warning. Queen City is at their own 36. Most of the backups are in at this point. Only contract notable that's still on the field is Memphis Blue, number 87. Split backs for Max Barney, and Barney will go off to Mac, and Mac will be tackled by Slim Shady, and London will start burning their timeout. Yeah, most of these aren't backups. Offensive linemen in two, with the exception of center number 67, Roderick Kidd. Here's the get to Mack, and Mack got a hole. Up to the 44, timeout called again by London with 154 left. London with visions of getting there. Hands on the ball one more time. Of course, Queen City aiming to prevent that and then can, can do so by picking up a first down right here. Press coverage being shown by London. Barney will give to Mack and Mack will squeeze ahead for one yard so he won't get up the first down. Get the first down, but London will call a timeout with 150 left. And Dreams really do come true. Byron Coward with the tackle there. As the kick is away from Matthews and Daggs calls the fair catch at the 21. So the Knights have a minute 44, but no timeouts to work with and a long way to go. 79 yards and a buck 44. You know, this is one of those things. If they can uh, execute a successful, uh, basically two-minute drill here, they'll give them something to build on because um, they've got a, they've got a, several games left to play. I know there's comments about the season, and it's a tough season for London. Martin back to throw, going deep. There you oh, go. Oh, it's a double coverage catch. Nice. By Giacomo Jones. Snag that away from two black shirts. And Martin with a deep drop this time. As time throws this open the middle, it's tipped in the air and incomplete. So close. Decent protection. He had time. I think he got hit right after he delivered the ball, but. Still able to get it away. They ought to be able to hit something in a medium uh, sideline route. Most of the starters still in for Queen City. On defense is Martin. Going deep. Oh, a diving catch by Godspeed. And we have our first flag on the play. An opportune time for it is this will tack about five more yards onto the end of the play. Let's get the call. Late hit, number 31, we have a personal foul late hit on Nacho Sicario. He's been a gamer all evening, and uh, he's he's, he's, he's still bringing he's still bringing it here. And he thought Godspeed was down, but. I guess he already touched him on the way down. Yeah, to be fair, it looks like hey, he just got tripped up and kind of fell on him. They still dropped the flag. One twenty left to go in this game. Ball on the Queen City 19. Last time they were in the red zone, they weren't able to get a score. Let's see if they can change that. As John Smith will make the swing pass, pick up four yards, and here goes the Chinese fire drill. If uh, Martin hadn't uh, thrown it behind him, forcing him to do a 360, could have been more yards there. And Over the oh. middle. Oh, almost intercepted by Phoenix Blue. Wow. Third down and six.
almost disaster there for London's hopes of putting some more points on the board here at the end of the game. And here is the drop back by Martin going to the end zone and is caught by Giacomo Jones for a touchdown. There you go. Nice. Nice, nice play. Giacomo in the slot just beats the safeties. Yep, they're playing a little zone and uh, he and Martin are on the same page. He drops a dime on him there. Zach Daggs' is extra point pending. Make this a 20 point game again. Minute left. But oh, it's blocked. No. It's blocked and Are no good. Oh. No good. Zach Daggs misses the extra point, and it's been that kind of evening for the poor lads from London. Well, they uh, managed to get their first points on the board since the first quarter. But can't tack on the PAT. And if you have any doubts about Queen City's commitment to playing tough all 60 minutes, you see it there as they... The outside kick goes right to Queen City. And they'll take over at the London 43. Get the block on that PAT. I thought that... Honestly, I thought that kick was going to go through. It looked like it had enough spin on it still even with the block. I didn't get a replay on that, but uh, somebody got their big paw up there. And the Queen City Corsairs will go into victory formation. London can't stop the clock. Well, very impressed with uh, Queen City's uh, not only effort, but just the workmanlike manner in which they uh, approach this game, Colin. Indeed, as the clock continues to wind down, and we'll probably get another snap or two. We'll probably get, uh, let's see, this might be it. Depending on the clock after this snap. Yep. This is gonna do it. And that should do it. Well, congratulations, uh, Queen City. Great game, London. Um, Rough, a rough a go of it, as uh, Liam would say, in their contest against the Corsairs. And that's it. Final score is Queen City 34, London 13. Post-game highlights coming up next. London only 261 total yards all game in those two turnovers. Queen City with 429. There's a look at Chris Curtis. Big play there. Frank Axmel, one and a half sack. Michael Mort finished with 166. Just a minute coming on the last drive. Ricky Matthews making two field goals. Jeffrey Dags, 145 kickoff return yards. Nacho Sicario with that spectacular interception. Chris Curtis finishing with 119 receiving. On six targets. On six catches on seven targets. Kane Velasquez. Seven tackles, Jeffrey Dags with 12 seconds straight week. He's gone over wow. wow. Kokaleo with three sacks. Yeah, so Queen City goes to uh, six and four. Puts him on a three-game winning streak. And, uh, you know, here as we get into the last uh, stanza of the season, Colin, I don't think anybody really wants to uh, draw Queen City at this point. They are a dangerous team indeed, especially in that man, Ash Odom. Giacomo Jones grabbed all London receivers with 88 yards. 
No disrespect to uh, Liam and his London Knights. Uh, maybe not quite the uh, play of the game is Ash Jones, 32 carries, 219 yards, two touchdowns, and 12 receiving yards and one receiving touchdown. So 21 total points responsible for wow. deserving play of the game. Well, for all of us here at the SFL, I'm Colin Northrup. He's Rick Northrup. Good night, everybody.